Okay, we just re re replace the, the motherboard with a brand new one. And now it's booting up. Okay. Uh, we cannot see the LED on the device net, but it's running. Uh, let's check the controller. The controller is doing a, another update uh, to the old version, so you see it's downloading the new image. To install uh, the flex pendant as it was. So what we did uh, is to, we just replace the power supply, the controller, we kept uh, the device net board and the compact flash. Uh, this is not the original, it's a, it's a clone of uh, 16 gigabytes. So, it's gonna, now it's uh, writing a EOS to the flash on the flex pendant. So every time you change um, the um, the controller version, it's gonna do this procedure. It's gonna write the operating system on the flex pendant. That is needed to handle that controller. Okay. Now it's gonna boot up again and try to connect to the controller. There you go, perfect. Now it's connecting to the controller. If you keep on the first uh, page or the first, the first screen, it means that it's not connecting to the controller. But in, this is, is uh, indicating that it's ready to, or it's connecting to the controller right now. Okay, so what we are gonna do is, even though we have a system failure, we're gonna restart in advanced mode uh, to the last faultless system. Okay. Um, see what it does. Okay, again, it's connecting. Now it's starting the application, you see. Okay, so let's check the calibration. It says that it's calibrated. Uh, okay, so now we need to restore the... Um, okay, we're gonna restore the data from the SMB memory to the controller because it's new and go from that. Okay, thank you.